Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Final 4 if you're right guys, Germany. Let's continue on from where we last that's off. So, uh, in between play sessions, I have used the state transfer tool here, which is a mod you can find in the workshop, which lets you basically just transfer provinces around, which I found uh, quite handy. So basically what I've done is I have basically shrunk Italy. I've taken over Viento and Venice. I gave Piedmont to the French. Uh, they're basically pretty, pretty weak. I also gave the coast here to Hungary. Um, I released a Russian puppet state basically, and their capital is in, uh, here, which is, I think, the, the leader of the Soviet Union before the name's so updated all, so, either way, so we got, like, basically a Russian puppet state with Transcaucasia, and, uh, these guys down here, I gave, um, what else did I do? I also gave France that, I don't think I did anything else, really. Um, just those few minor changes. Um, so yeah, uh, decisions available. Uh, war propaganda against everybody is not important because we again we're at 100% war score. It's completely fine. I'm still annoyed that the British did uh, attack us. Oh yeah, I also got rid of that one country up here that ha had no name because I think that it's a bit silly. Why does it not have a name? And just gave it all to Slovakia. Either way, yeah, we'll just kind of continue on from where we last left off. So, uh. Infrastructure speed goes up. I don't remember which of you was mutually exclusive. Has not shown. Okay, apparently we're funding this guy, so apparently it's probably the one I want to do. Fantastic. And then uh, this is basically all done. And I've also been thinking we should probably get uh, the dockyard situation under control because we're going to need a navy. We're going to ever invade the British Isles, I think. Uh, there's no way I don't think we can actually fight them at all. I was thinking about trying to invade here, but I realized I cannot get ships into the Mediterranean because of, um, we can't move ships over here. We do now have a port in, uh, Italy, which I can maybe deploy troops in, or like submarines to. Yeah, and you just deploy there. Three a month. I mean, it's still gonna take a while, but that's fine. And you guys aren't, like, I can't get them to blockade the British or anything, which is disappointing for us. And we can also modify the government. Uh, we can do some air and naval, naval stuff. We need some submarines, I think. Uh, light bomber, fighter, heavy bomber, capital ship, cruisers, small ship. Yeah, we'll get that guy in charge. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we got some Italian troops down here. That's fine. And we also have these guys have nothing to do. I mean, right now, most of the army has nothing to really do. We don't have any enemies within, um, Europe proper. Like, we got these guys over here ready to attack the, um, the Ottomans faction if it ever comes to war. I don't think it's going to unless I declare the war myself. But I don't think I really want to do that necessarily. I'm also, we have, um, not aggression packs with these guys anyway, so I don't think we can actually really get anything done. Oh, and I, I don't have a non- Do I not have a non pack packs with them? No, I do. I do have you. Okay. What I could also do is I could put troops on the Serbian border, Bulgaria. I mean, that won't really do anything for us, though. So, yeah, you, you're you not anybody. Yeah, all of you guys, I'm gonna put you back into a new army. These 11 guys all go back into there. Throw them up here, and can you get assigned? You can also get assigned here, so just do that. So yeah, I guess you guys are going to front line on the Bulgarian border. Like, then I don't really know what to do with you. You guys can all garrison on the uh, Serbian border. Just because you're just going to offensive line your way down south. Because I think... Uh, Greece does have a chance to join one of these guys um, in their in their faction, so we definitely want to prepare for the event that that could possibly happen. Also, we're gonna throw troops here and try to capitulate the Serbians if it ever comes to war. And also, do these guys all? They might have no. They don't have any focus streets at all. I was gonna say they might have some sort of focus street that would. Um... Oh, we're also world the United States now. Fantastic. They joined the Imperial Protection Alliance. So also means we're Mexico. So, yeah, I mean, it's looking very much like 
World War II, like proper World War II now, you know, with the United States, Britain, Canada, the French. Um, this this would be like an alternate scenario where the Soviet Union didn't did not last. Other than that, we're basically in actual World War uh, Two now, which is disappointing because now I gotta capitulate the United States in order to actually get uh, the faction to capitulate. So I'm thinking, based on that, uh, there we should focus our efforts on uh, the French because we capitulate the French Republic here. The entire uh, faction capitulates. So we should focus our attention in the Mediterranean for now. I mean, of course, try to push troops in the into Jerusalem, into Egypt, and divert your attention here. Uh, we can also oh, we should be getting the new submarines as well. Uh, submarines. Uh, are you uh yeah 1940 subs? Fantastic! I want you guys. Yes, the planes available for reserves. Most of them, yeah, we're trying to, uh, what planes do we have in reserves? A bunch of bombers, fantastic. These are actually what I want, because they have the range here. Naval strike up there, and also what we should be doing is we should be preparing, um, some sort of battle over Britain, basically. Get all these fighters involved. Is that all the fighters? Move one equipment. Oh, you're at, you're at like a thousand. Wow, that's a lot of uh, aircraft. So they're gonna, you know, deploy here. Deploy some more fighters here. We're gonna deploy some more fighters or some strategic bombers, because why not? Some heavy fighters and some naval bombers. And again, we're just gonna crank these guys up to 200 so they can just uh, replenish here. I mean, right now, I'm going to keep them grounded. Um, we're not going to send them over the channel quite yet until we can actually land troops within Africa. I mean, right now, like, all of Africa is essentially hostile towards me. Other than Abyssinia and Libya, which I think we now have a truce with. Um, for a while. Until the 27. So, you know, this year, but I'm not going to declare war on them. There's no reason really to do so. Italy, do you have a navy? I don't think you do. You have three ships. France, I'm assuming, doesn't have a navy. Um, and all of you guys won't because I capitulated you. Only I have a navy and it's only three ships. Compared to the French's, uh, 147. Yeah, no, we're looking at maybe like a thousand ships against our 30. So I'm not too sure how exactly we're going to get this done. How long until this, um... 99 days till the landing craft here is done. I mean, we own roads. That could be a good staging point, actually. Uh, I'm gonna actually prepare a naval invasion from Rhodes to uh, the coast here. There's nobody in that army, but it should um, build up even if we're not there. Like, they'll still prepare for this, I believe, at least. I mean, Turkey's here. Turkey has three ships, so I'm assuming that's entirely the Turkish Navy right now. I imagine the French Navy has to be around here. I don't know where else they could possibly be. What are my ships doing? Just actually go to port. Uh, I want you to actually repair now. So I don't, yeah, I basically don't want to be here at all. And yeah, we're missing, I'm assuming I'm also going to build naval bombers. Strategic bombers, heavy, okay. Uh, I'll build some strategic bombers just down here. Uh, naval bombers will build some of, and then, uh, was it heavy fighters? Do we have heavy fighters? We don't, so shut up. Just, just ignore that. Um... Apparently we're also not making any tanks right now. Are we being bombed a lot? No, we only have one factory down. Don't we have a bunch of factories? How many military? We have 250 military factories. Oh, like, almost all of them are being used for this. We have 150 military factories just making guns. And we have 147,000 equipment for that. So yeah, let's cut that down a little bit. 
Uh, cut that down even more. Uh, cut down the tank production a little bit. Cut down the motorized, doesn't need to be that high. And there we go, so now we're actually building all the planes we need. Something just happened, I don't know what. The Irish Free State is rolling well, up, fantastic! Uh, for centuries, the Irish nation has been under British control. You cannot con- yeah, no, Ireland. You're doing good work by me. Uh, you guys, um... Should be here. You guys can go to this airport. Ireland, how strong are you? Do you have actually any troops? You have 13 to 15 divisions. Volunteer only, no ships. I'm assuming you're just gonna get destroyed by the British? I mean, we could also, um... Prepare naval orders here. Just because. No, okay. Please ignore this. Like, I know right now we can't, um, do anything. But yeah, it should start building up. I think we actually need one unit on the, uh, order for it to start doing that. But we'll do it in a second. Your orders are going to be to invade here. Let's try not to lose all of our ships. You'll be invading from Calais and invade through Dover. Yeah, maybe these guys will start moving. What are you doing? You're going over there. And then we still have red and uh, purple, which you can't really do much. So they're just going to deploy in northern France and just hang out for now. Again, I don't think the AI is going to land troops on our border quite yet. Uh, you know, for now it's fine. If you're an enemy, well, we'll see if we can actually break through the, the south part of England. It is going to be a challenge. There's no real question about that. How long until you're actually done? Because it, it goes from, what, 10 to 40? 10 to 40, invasion capacity. Defense, invasion defense goes up, which is weird. And, uh, preparation time goes down. Defense goes up by 50%. Amphibious invasion speed up by 25%. And that's the 1944. Yeah, so this would have technically been the technology that the armies used in D-Day. Yeah, well, yeah, well, aid the Irish. Ireland, join my faction. I don't know if it's even possible, but I want it to happen. You don't even like me. As for military, non-aggression pact. Ireland, you, we should support each other. Um, I don't know how I can do that. But you should absolutely be, um... Oh, yeah, we're also... Yeah, Philippines, we can help them out as well. But we should be friends! Um, oh, free civilian factories, okay. Apparently we need more military factories. That's actually where we're, uh... We're lacking at the moment. So we'll build military factories down here in the south. We'll just throw all this to the bottom. Doesn't really matter which of these factories are done. Like, we have so many. Almost all these are getting built right now, which is wonderful news. Uh, we still have, don't have the nuclear stuff. Uh, it was 1943, right? Yeah, so it's still like a year and a half out on that. You're all at 5 out of 5. Are the submarines done yet? We have two submarines. Of course, that's not... You don't need to fire. Don't fire our will because that's not going to actually work out for us. Where are actually these submarines here? They can, I think, all deploy because the submarines can get through the uh, the blockade there uh right click all ships please no where are these ships oh you're here yeah just deploy that one right click that's your new base are you on fire on will? No, good. I don't want you to do that. 
You guys are basically all submarines as well. But I, again, I don't think I can really do anything against the British. I can't starve them. Like, there's no way that can happen. 20 British submarines is quite a bit. I don't know what we just fought there. I, I see that we're fighting the British. Doing, they're doing something. But yeah, you just need to get out of there. Got some Italian ships engaging some convoys. We just need superiority in this region. Recent arms sale. I mean, there are so many enemy fighters here. But it's not actually like that big of a deal, I don't think. I'm guessing our superiority is still zero. Enemy ships present 112 to 119. That is a shit ton. Wow, okay. How, how is that even possible? I'm assuming the entirety of the British fleet must be there then. Maybe they know I'm trying to do this. Like, how many enemy ships are in this area? Only 20 to 22 are actually blockading the channel. Everybody else is over here. Maybe I should research the radar and actually uh, use those guys properly. Yeah, we'll send all of our ships over the channel. You're strategic bombers. You start bombing southern England. Are you naval fight? What are you? You're fighters. You go over here and air superiority. Of course, I don't want you on no retreat because that's, again, just stupid. It shouldn't be there. Air superiority. You're going to naval strike. What are you? Are you also fighters? You're heavy fighters. You go over here and air superiority into the English channel. Start bombing England. Uh, can I actually have you... Like, are there ports defended? No, there's no coastal forts. Well, Dover has some coastal forts, but not a lot. So, like, you. We have 0% naval superiority. I hate- I, like, I wish we didn't need naval superiority. I wish I could have sacrificed troops into the- and just, like, just be like, go. If you sink, you sink. Not a big deal. I mean, I have a lot of manpower, and apparently I have a lot of guns. I could just create, like, an entire division of just, like, the infantry don't even have that much in them. But just a division of, like, basically just duplicate this. And just fill it with just basic infantry divisions. Just the, just like a small, the small infantry divisions. I'm just gonna give one, like, a new... The sword, because they're kamikaze troops, so save that. I mean, they're really cheap, that's the whole point of them. And we will just make, you know, as many as I possibly can, because screw it. Do you want a division? Sure, why not? How many guns do I have? I'm still 154,000 in the positive, and they're not using any support equipment, not no motorized or anything like that. They are purely just wave after wave of men. I mean, they're really... Weak divisions, but I can, I can edit those guys to be like the actual regular size. There we go. So it's good, it's good, like 200 divisions is quite a lot. We're only 25,000 rifles short, which really is only a month short. Apparently, we have to make a shit ton of rifles. Wow. Uh, but I do think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, can I stop down? Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.